All right, today I want to talk about the scapular tuck. Basically, how to root your elbow and how to root your uh, really entire arm. In Wing Chun, it's extremely important to have root. When someone makes contact with you, if you're uprooted or you mush or smush or collapse your structure, then you're letting someone into a range that, that, uh, that you're not dictating. And we must dictate the distance, we must, must dictate the range. Bottom line is, most people, even those that have practiced long-term Wing Chun, don't fully understand how to root the shoulder. Today I'm going to tell you that. The shoulder is, actually, is the origin of the elbow. If you are a Wing Chun practitioner and you are constantly getting uprooted, constantly, or being pushed back by bigger, stronger people, well, one of the reasons is because you don't understand how to bring this shoulder into its position. Anything in Wing Chun we do is not about forcing. It's really about relaxing. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. When you're doing your Wing Chun and you're all of a sudden someone gets underneath your elbow or someone presses on here and you feel yourself going back. Well, I can show you one of the main reasons that's happening and I can also show you why or how, rather how, to stop that. Bottom line is what I need you to do is I need you to work on relaxing the trapezius muscle. The trapezius muscle is responsible for raising the shoulders. Wing Chun, you know the general thing in Wing Chun, shoulders down, shoulders down. Okay, yeah, but the degree to which the shoulders are down is gravely in, uh, oh, underestimated. It is underestimated by most practitioners, and I'm talking long-term Wing Chun Sifus as well. So, what I want you to understand is the ability to have this heaviness in the elbow is all about the shoulder. So, the trapezius, okay? Trapezius muscle must learn to relax. Most people live on what I call the third story. And they walk around in that. I'm talking about where their scapula sits. The scapula is the shoulder blade in the back. Where that scapula sits for most people, especially men, is higher and kind of over, okay? What we don't want is this type of thing in our Wing Chun. This is the opposite of a good rooted under um, scapula and shoulder. We want to understand how to settle it. Okay, now, settling the so shoulder, like I said, has to do with the trap, but it also has to do with other muscles up here too. There's rhomboids in there and there's smaller muscles. But we want to be able to relax further. In the very beginning, your ability to relax and bring your shoulders down will probably only get you to the second story. Well, what I want you to do is I want you to get to the basement. <laughs> That's where I want you. I want your shoulders so connected to the ground that when you make contact with someone, they feel as if they're pushing into the ground and they just cannot move you. So, like I said in the beginning, you just can't do this. In the beginning, you think you're as low as you can go, but guess what? You're not. You're not as low as you can go. Your scapulas have not sunk. Have not sunk. And now, the real work is in constantly reminding yourself of this and working on it daily. Anyway, shoulder needs to be back. It can't be forward, it needs to be back, it needs to be down, okay? And it needs to settle. So the first thing I want you to try to do is when your arm is, let's just use a tonsil, just as an example. When your hand is in a tonsil, I want you to take your other hand and I want you to feel your trapezius muscle. Is it relaxed? And when I say is it relaxed, I mean is it soft as anything, right? A lot of people, like I said, especially guys, live with these guys just 
just uh, really, really tight. Okay, and they're just walking around with this static, pr this pressure, this this pressure that they're not aware of. So with time, you can learn to to get rid of this. The stress is a struggling base muscle, stress struggling muscle. So make sure you back your shoulders back and up and down, and then feel it. Position matters when it comes to relaxing things. So you'll find it. You can mess around with it, come forward a little, back, down, and feel where that trapezius is relaxed. Now, the more relaxed you can keep those trape the trapezius muscles during your Wing Chun, the more grounded it can be, and specifically the arm. In the beginning, what's gonna happen is the top muscles, the trapezius and the other muscles are going to pull. You're gonna play tug of war with, with having your, your scapula low and then pulling back. So what it feels like you'll need to do is force it down, almost to the point of cramping. Well, that's because the other muscles are in the way, the other muscles are pulling and pulling and pulling. That's not always gonna be the case when you learn to relax and stretch those antagonistic muscles. So, with time, you'll be able to do that. So, as you practice your Sunum Tao, and Sunum Tao is supposed to be practiced daily, as you practice it, practice how low can you get your shoulder in that effort. And then in turn, your elbow goes super low too, right? Stretching, stretching, stretching the trapezius. So, I want you to work on it, but I guarantee you, Wherever you get and how far you get, there's always more. There's always lower down in the basement that you can go. All right? You will think that you can... Uh, here's the thing about relaxation. You think you're as relaxed as you can get, but there's more. There's always higher levels of relaxation. Right? So, All right, so this is a huge thing. Ask me questions. Um, I've been doing this for 28 years, so it's hard for me to understand the beginner's mindset, exactly what, your, uh, what, what things are in your mind. So please, ask me questions. I'm here to help. I want you to try to understand what I'm saying because I want you to have, have access to knowledge that can make you better, as long as you're willing to put in the work. Again, I'm Sifu Adam Willis. Thank you much.